people love to complain about dancehall and reggae not receiving the international attention it deserves. Yet, when an artist tries to make that push, all of a sudden they're a sellout and they forgot where they came from. Now, it's your favorite journalist, Jevy, and please excuse me if I'm ranting a bit in this video because this is a subject that I'm quite passionate about. So why am I upset? Well, the Jamaican star wrote a story on reggae singer I Octane a few days ago where they asked him a bit about the seemingly many endorsements he has been receiving in the past couple years. In case you didn't know, Octane has worked as an ambassador for Busta Soft Drinks, where he has his own flavor, shoe company Golden Eagle, and Digicel. You would think this would be great news, right? Considering that revenue from music sales is borderline non-existent, now these artists have a way to supplement the income they make from live shows, as well as gaining more international exposure, and all at no extra cost to the fans. So what's the problem? Well, that's when you start being called a sellout, right? Reading here from the start, Octane is quoted as saying, we as Jamaicans don't like to brand ourselves. As an artist say him, I go brand himself. They start to say the man they sell out, the man they pants tight, the man they locks too neat and a bag of frivolous things. So it's clear that we are not understanding the business part of it. So when our next man tries it and gets the full understanding of the business part, it looks strange to your peers. That's what Octane said. Let me go off topic a bit and address the locks too neat part. Growing up with dreadlocks myself, I can actually relate to this quote a little bit. People feel like they know how I should live my life better than myself. They also feel like my dread should look like everyone else's. It's ridiculous that someone can say your dreads are too neat. And while that statement sounds ridiculous, it's actually realistic, sadly. But back to the business side of things. The music business is a business. Like, I can't believe that people really need this spelled out for them. Octane decided to point at acts like Jake and Rihanna who have taken their careers to new heights due to collaborations with Apple Music and Tidal respectively. But here's a mistake Octane made. Octane is providing all these American examples, but you don't need to look so far to find examples of why branding is so important. Now, we all remember Dennis Brown, right? The crown prince of reggae. In the early stages of his career, he had the opportunity to take his brand to new heights. And while being the prince of reggae is quite the accomplishment, he lost what could have been the actual throne to Bob Marley, who understood that it was a business and he pushed his brand to the world. To this day, the Marley estate is worth $130 million. 36 years after Bob has already left this earth, his face still represents something. And while Marley was a great singer, you don't achieve that type of success with just singing. That's what Vibes Cartel understood. Except with Cartel, because of how notorious his reputation was, he had to become his own boss and launch Street Vibes Rum, his own skin, light, uh, skin lightning line, sorry. And of course, that failed condom line. <laughs> Anyways, if you need more modern examples of successful artists branding themselves, there's Chronix with Adidas that just happened. We can't call Chronix a setup because he still speaks the truth and says what's on his mind. Like, geez, to this day, there's no one who can answer his likes song. And then there's Mr. Big Deal, Chris Martin with KFC. And of course, Shaggy and Sean Paul wouldn't still be here today without successful branding. I understand that many people listening to this video will not be Jamaican, but even so, learn a lesson from this. Black people, and especially Jamaicans, need to get rid of this crab in a bucket mentality. It's like we cheer on the people that we like as long as they are within arm's reach. Once they reach too big, too far, and start seeing the world, all of a sudden they change and we have issues with them. This is the goal. This is the dream. This is what they have worked so hard towards. And to see top level success in whatever it is you're working towards, that should be a goal of all of us. Brands and corporations can easily work together to achieve this. Not even easily. Dancehall and reggae brands need to work together corporations because if dance hall music doesn't work with these corporations the music will die out this music business is a full-time job and artists still have families to feed this isn't charity work they need to get paid they need to grow they need exposure and if we're, and if we the fans are not buying music who's going to pay them exactly well octane concluded the interview something we have known all along that record sales are declining and it's a sad fact especially since octane has been working on his album titled Love and Life, knowing that probably won't receive the attention or the sales it deserves. 
And while I'm on the topic, Octane, weren't you going to release a dancehall album or mixtape called Everything Crack? Like, you know, I'm still waiting on it, you know. And I like your dancehall music and lyrics more than your reggae. So don't forget about fans like me, all right? <laughs> but anyways, it is your favorite journalist, Jevy. I'm just here trying to keep things short, sweet, and simple. On the screen, you will see direct links to a couple of my other videos that I've uploaded. My profile icon is also a subscribe button. Make sure to hover over that and show some love, okay? Leave a comment stating your thoughts below because this channel isn't just a dancehall news channel. It is a place for discussion. Please leave a like and follow my social media. Links are in the description. On that note, have a good night, everyone. Peace.